Hey guys, welcome back to Galaxy Games 843. My name is Matt, and this week we're doing just a quick tip on how to save arcade artwork. So maybe you have a Midway cabinet, such as Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Burger Time, uh, there's all kinds of them out there. Or maybe you have a Williams cabinet, like uh, Joust or Robotron or Bubbles or something like that. Something that has stenciled artwork. Um, that's what we're focusing on today. We're focusing on cabinets that have stenciled artwork and for whatever reason have been converted to something else and they've painted over the stenciled artwork. So what we're going to do is talk about how to save that stenciled artwork underneath because, you know, depending on what type of chemicals you use, you can damage the artwork underneath. One way to tell if this process will be successful is if when you get the cabinet, if it's got um, stickers on the side, such as new side art, Peel those stickers off. Use a little heat, maybe a hairdryer or a heat gun. Peel those stickers off. If some of that paint comes with it and reveals the old artwork underneath, this is a good sign that this process is going to be successful for you. So one thing you can do is you can use rubbing alcohol and magic erasers, and this is the result you'll see. Now, keep in mind, this is a pretty labor-intensive and very, very messy process. You're gonna get, you know, paint or actually just like the liquid paint everywhere. It's going to get all over your hands and all over your workspace. So you can use this, but it's going to take a lot of work and I've got one option that's going to be even better. So here it is. All right, as you can see, we're using Mostenbacher's Lift Off Latex Paint Remover to take the latex paint off of a Burger Time cabinet. So uh, I basically sp sprayed it on for, I don't know, a minute or two and then I kind of rough it up a little bit with this uh this brush and as you can see it starts peeling away but you don't want to do it too much with the brush because i learned the hard way right over here that it'll actually start taking the other paint away too so what i've done is hit it with the brush for a little bit and then once that starts take some paper towel and just kind of ease it away with the paper towel so as you can see this latex paint remover just kind of releases the latex paint from the original paint on the cabinet. And it's a messy job, but it's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it because Peter Pepper is gonna be all nice and back to how he originally was on an original Burger Time cabinet rather than this crazy conversion that turned out to be when I bought it. So just a quick tip, if you guys have some um, Midway or Williams or one of these cabinets with stenciled artwork underneath and it's been painted over, you may be able to save it by using some Mostenbacher's Lift Off Latex Paint Remover. Alright guys, I hope you found this tip helpful. I hope it can save some of your arcade artwork on some of your cabinets that have been converted to other crazy games out there. Um, thanks so much for stopping by and watching all the way to the end. I know it was a quick video, but thanks so much for your support. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and click that bell notification so that way you're always notified when our new videos go live. Share our videos, give us a thumbs up, and tell your friends guys. Thanks so much. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.